Hey what's up guys I'm Matt here and today we have the DT Ultra 2 Android watch so a lot of you have been asking about it I have the smartwatch for quite a while now I needed to gather all of the information about this smartwatch it is one of the smartest smartwatches I know it comes with dual chip it has android as well as bluetooth system inside it you can use it as an android watch or as a bluetooth smartwatch however you like it comes in a shape exactly like the apple watch ultra comes with an amoled display and also supports qi protocol wireless charging in this video we're gonna be testing out every feature in this smartwatch but before we start if you're new here a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated so let's get right into it and talk about the dt ultra 2 so here's the box let's go ahead and open it inside it first of all we have the user manual to get you started after that we get the ocean straps inside it we get usb a wireless charger and as advertised it supports qi protocol wireless charging we're surely gonna be testing it later in the video and in the end we get the dt ultra 2 android watch and here is the first complete look on the smartwatch it comes in 49 millimeter size and the dimensions are 49 into 43 into 11.5 millimeters and if you try to use the apple watch ultra case on it and i have a hard apple watch ultra case and if i try to use it on it then it doesn't fit it looks like it's just a little bit wider as compared to the apple watch ultra the smartwatch is using a plastic body it is not a metallic body we also have a gps antenna design on the body we're surely gonna be testing it later in the video after that the smartwatch weighs around 46 grams as advertised if you look at the back side we have real skews just like apple watch ultra we also get these strap locks here and the strap locks are real and you can easily press the button to remove the straps and because of the strap locks the grip of the straps is also quite good and here's how the smartwatch looks on the wrist what do you think about it let me know in the comment section below we also to get the wireless charging and health sensors here again we're gonna be testing them later in the video it is said to be ip67 level waterproof and i wouldn't recommend you to use it directly in water while it can be used normally while washing hands or in rainy days now let's talk about the display it is said to be using a 2.06 inches amoled display and i've confirmed in the darkness that it is using a true amoled display as it doesn't emit light in the dark because of the amoled display the colors and everything is quite good in the smartwatch the clarity the sharpness of the text the overall overall smoothness and the color saturation is quite good the resolution is 410 into 502 because of which the sharpness looks really good and if you use the torch application then here is a look at the bezel size the bezels are even from all of the sides it is using bluetooth version 5.3 which ensures a stable connection with the watch application if you talk about the chipset it is using two chips inside it for android it is using mtk6739 chip while for the bluetooth mode it is using 8763 chip inside it it is using a two gigabytes of ram and overall the processing and speed of the smartwatch is good but i think that it requires a few software updates to make it more smoother and the software also needs to be optimized right now because the app opening speed is not too fast for example i'm gonna open a basic application like calculator but you will see that it takes around a second to open the application if you talk about the storage capacity then the smartwatch comes with a 16 gigabytes of storage capacity it is based on android so if you go to settings and here go to about us then if you scroll down it is using android version 9.1 so you can confirm the android version by tapping here so here is the android version 9.1 it mentions an imei slot here although it does not come with the sim card inside it and a lot of people also ask about about the developer options so yes you can continue tapping on the build number after that in the settings scroll all the way down and go to system and here you can find the developer options so for a lot of people asking about the developer options yes it can enable developer options if you talk about the language supported by it since it is based on android so it supports a lot of languages let's take a look at all of them So these were all of the languages supported by it. Now let's talk about connectivity. So if you scroll down, first of all, we have the Wi-Fi configuration option and the Wi-Fi strength is as good as the smartphone. It is able to connect with all of the networks that my MacBook or my smartphone scan. And if you scroll down and go to Wi-Fi preferences, then here we have the Wi-Fi direct option also available. I have the option of turn on Wi-Fi automatically here. But one thing that I've noticed is that because of some reason, the Wi-Fi keeps turning itself off. This is one of the issues I faced 
best in the DT Ultra 2. We have Watch Buffer, which offers one click power saving. You can scroll down to see the user guide, watch power consumption guide, or see the battery settings. And here is the option which actually turns off Wi Fi. So just turn it off, and then Wi Fi won't ever be disabled, but it will drain a lot of battery. Then we have the power saving mode. So if the smartwatch is not worn for 15 minutes or it detects that you are sleeping, it will enter the sleep mode, which will help it to increase the battery life. After that, the second option we have is the Bluetooth. Other than the Bluetooth chip used for connecting it with the smartphone, it also has a Bluetooth chip by which you can connect devices with it. So you can connect it with your wireless headphones and other accessories like this. Since it's not a fully Android smartwatch, it's a combination of Android and Bluetooth smartwatch. And since it is also not using a SIM card inside it, so we do not have mobile data and hotspot tethering and other options like this. After that, it also comes with built-in GPS inside it and you can turn on the location services in it and just like every other Android device to take advantage of the GPS you can use Google Maps on it so you can search for any location right on it and follow the paths right from your wrist so it can actually help while driving you can easily search for any path and search for directions and you can easily follow the path while driving GPS also has many other advantages we also get the weather application here the weather application uses the internet connection and the location services to show you your location and the weather data here and now let's talk a bit about the UI first of all since it's an Apple Watch Ultra 2 replica and is based on watchOS 10 so from bottom to top we have the widgets page which looks quite similar to watchOS you can also tap and hold on the widgets if you want to delete them and you can also tap here to add more widgets after that the widgets are live and show live data as you can see here and if you scroll all the way down we also have the option to access the menu directly from here from left to right as well as right to left we have quick access applications and from top to bottom we have the notifications so if you go to settings and scroll all the way down we also have 3d style switching so from here you can choose any transition style you like for example i'm gonna choose windmill then on swipe gesture you will see those transitions and just like watchOS you can double click the crown key to access the app history and just like watchOS 10 we have the control center on the side key if you look at the left side we get the action key and you can tap it to access the sport modes directly if you go to settings and here check all of the options we have the left key customization and here you can choose any option you like and then that function will be used on the action key the smartwatch also includes a lot of built-in watch faces inside it and all of them are of really high quality if you take a look at all of the watch faces this watch face is themed and it is also interactive after that this watch face is also themed then this one is a dynamic watch face this is also a dynamic watch face the Hermes watch face is themed this pathfinder watch face is also themed then this is also a themed watch face although my wife won't allow me using any of these this watch face is also themed with many sceneries here we have the snoopy dog watch face with many themes on it then this one is a digital watch face here we have another themed as well as dynamic watch face this is one of my favorite watch faces in the dt ultra 2 you can also animate it using the crown key and you can also tap on it to change its theme it comes with many themes on it the theme is available in almost all of the colors shown here after that we have another themed and dynamic watch face and this is the last built in watch face we have in it it can also be animated using the crown key and you can also tap on it to change the color after that this watch face was installed from the smartphone application and in the end we have the add more dials option so the smartwatch also comes with a dial market the dial market can also be accessed from the menu so we have a lot of categories shown here so looks like it's currently loading all of the watch faces as of now the technology watch face is loaded after loading it will show you all of the watch faces here then you can select the watch face and tap on this download icon then it will download that watch face and install it on the DT Ultra 2. Then if you talk about the menu, it comes with a vertical cellular menu style just like watchOS 10. But unfortunately, we do not have menu opening transition or the menu quitting transition. It has slight transition when opening the application or quitting the application. So the menu and app transitions are not similar to watchOS. Overall, the menu is quite smooth. And just like watchOS, you can scroll all the way down to access the list view. And the list view also looks quite smooth to scroll. The icons are also quite similar similar to watchOS, look at the pedometer application, then heart rate, sleep tracker, if you scroll down we have the stopwatch and timer, the alarm clock, the calendar here and the calculator. So the icons are also quite similar to watchOS. Let's talk about the screen time and the screen off tile. So in the settings we have display and brightness. So first of all the maximum brightness level value is quite good and another thing that I really like about it is the minimum brightness value. So the minimum brightness value is actually quite low and the display won't hurt your eyes while using 
using it late at night or in darker rooms. Then we have raise hand to brighten up the screen option. So whenever you raise your hand, the screen will brighten up. It also comes with the palm gesture to turn off the display. And we also get the tap to wake option to turn on the display. If we scroll down, you can also choose the lifting wrist dial. You can either choose to follow the main dial or we have the digital dial or pointer dial. But it cannot stay on forever and turns off after around 5 seconds. It is not given the always on display option on the screen of dial and even on the screen time. It is probably because the battery timing is not too good and the smartwatch already faces battery drain issues. If you talk about the maximum screen time, it can stay on for a maximum of 20 seconds and after 20 seconds of inactivity, the display will turn off. If you go to sounds and touch, we have the vibration option here. Then just like every other Android device, we have the call, media, ringer and alarm ringtone option. You can set the volume level from here. Then you can press the power button to end the call. After that, you can also select ringtones for telephones and for alarms. In the end, we have other beeps and vibration where you can toggle the dialing keyboard from tone or the charging from tone on or off. So you can also add a passcode in the smartwatch. So let me add a passcode. So the passcode has been added. So after that, whenever the display turns off, when you will turn it back on, you will first have to add the passcode here. In the smartwatch, you can also set date and time directly on it. You can also select the time zone and you can also select between 12 hour and 24 hour clock format. You can also reset the smartwatch. You can choose to reset the Wi-Fi, mobile and Bluetooth or you can reset the app preferences from here. You can also check the applications notifications here. These are for the applications which are installed in the smartwatch. If you talk about system upgrade, I have a smartwatch for about a month now and it hasn't received any firmware update as of now. After that, as I mentioned earlier, the smartwatch has two modes. We have Android and Bluetooth mode. On Android mode, it has dual engine hybrid supporting Wi-Fi, GPS and a wide range of applications. Well, you can also continue to receive smartphone notifications on it. While on the Bluetooth mode, Wi-Fi, GPS and all of the Android applications will be disabled and you will be able to use the smartwatch just as any other Bluetooth smartwatch. So for the next part of the video, I'm gonna use it as a Bluetooth mode device. I'm gonna use the Bluetooth mode as they have mentioned that battery life will improve. So let's turn it on. So just like every other DT smartwatch, it also uses the Wear Pro application. In the application, first of all, we get the dial market. The dial market includes a lot of watch faces inside it and all of them are available for totally free. It also has the dynamic dial option here. There are two dynamic watch faces inside it. We have the Snoopy Dog watch face and the Hermes watch face. I haven't found any option inside it to use your own picture as a watch face. There is no customized option given here. After that, if you go back, we have the incoming call sms and app notifications here and it can also receive bluetooth calls directly on it we have the keypad option here then you can accept the call by tapping here and here we have the mute option keypad option again you can adjust the volume level by using the crown key and in the end you can hang up the call from here and not just receive calls using bluetooth calling you can access the dialer pad and you can also call a number directly from the smartwatch call fails since it's an invalid number after that you can also receive text message notifications as well as app notifications directly on the smartwatch and it has the others option here which means even if an application isn't listed here it can still send you the notifications for it it doesn't have to specifically include all of the applications on your smartphone but includes most of the main ones let's try the whatsapp notifications so here's how it will show the push notifications it shows a banner prompt and here's how the notification center looks we have all of the messages listed here now let's try a longer notification with emojis so here's the notification let's open it so here you can see that longer notification do support a little scrolling and as you can see here the smartwatch also supports emojis so let me try some more emojis so here's the notification so you can see that it supports almost all of the emojis since it's an android watch after that we have the network connection option so you can connect with the wi-fi network here which you can connect with the smartwatch and we have the find watch option using which the smartwatch will start to ring so you can easily find it after that, in the menu, if you go to mobile assistant, we also have find phone option using which the smartphone will start to ring so you can easily find it. But it will only ring if the smartphone is on ring mode. If it's on vibration mode, then it will only vibrate. We also get the remote camera shutter option here. So using which you can click pictures by just tapping on the smartphone. You can also turn on automatic heart rate monitoring option. After that, we also have the firmware version option here. Although it hasn't received any firmware updates as of now. Then if you go to the me section and scroll down here, we also have the option to connect it with Apple Health. You can also set your goals here. And you can also set the units here. You can also set 
up your profile here but if you go to settings the profile will show your name and everything else but it won't show the profile picture after that we have the mall tab here here it will open the dt number one website and you can purchase the products from here then we have the exercise tab here and in the end we have the health tab which shows you all of your health data so now i'm done with the watch application part now if you go to battery so when i switch to bluetooth mode the screen usage since last full charge was three minutes and the battery timing was 97 percent so after 10 more minutes of screen usage it has lost six percent of the battery which is obviously better than the experience i had with the android mode as with android mode it loses one percent every one minute now let's find out if we can use the smartphone as an nfc tag or not for that i've opened this shortcuts application i'm gonna add a new automation and select nfc now let's scan it and yes the smartwatch can be used as an nfc tag so you can save many shortcuts on it for example let's add a shortcut for example i'm gonna open camera application and let's select portrait so for example from now on whenever i will hold my smartphone near the dt ultra 2 it will open the camera application with portrait mode so in the smartwatch we see the chat gpt application but it is a voice assistant application renamed as chat gpt so using it you can use the voice assistant on the smartphone it does not have a built-in voice assistant even though it's an android watch how's the weather today so the volume of the voice assistant is played on the smartwatch i wish it also had the google voice assistant since it's an android watch if you talk about the music control in the music application i didn't find any option to control the media playing on the device so i'm gonna go to settings and select bluetooth mode from here but now it's not showing the music application which means you cannot control the media playing on the device using the smartphone and now it is time to talk about the rest of the applications for that i'm gonna switch to list view first of all let's take a look at the health applications so if i scroll down i have heart rate blood oxygen blood pressure body temperature and blood sugar level checker and if you use any of them in the air the sensors have stopped working and the smartwatch refuses to obey the data which means that it has proximity sensor now let's try it with straps at the back so the sensors are continuing to work and the smartwatch has started to show values which is quite disappointing to hear and it means that the smartwatch does not have a detection and if i try with my fingers at the back then the values are different so it might mean that the sensors are real but when the smartwatch detects some something else at the back it just starts to give random values which actually makes the sensors unreliable after that we have sleep tracker and since it does not have a perfective working wear detection so it would mean that even if the smartwatch is on the table it would think that you are wearing it and it will measure the sleep data and maybe it measures the sleep data with the help of pedometer so if it sees that there are no steps in the last two to three hours it would think that you are sleeping while you might be having fun with your friends what do i know about it i made it then we also have breathe training here if you tap here you can set its speed and if you tap here you can set its time then we also get many sport apps inside it and you can tap here if you want to set the calories target the steps target or the distance target and in the end you can also set the time target we have sport record so it's the pedometer application let me take a few steps in the room to see if the pedometer works fine or not so i'm back after taking a few steps in the room while i was holding the smartwatch still in my hands so let's see if pedometer worked fine or not so i casually took around 40 to 45 steps and it counted 44 steps which is quite accurate and i'm actually surprised by it but do remember it was casual walking and the results might vary when walking or running outside after that we also have the timer application here so it does not have predefined times but once you set a time for example i'm gonna set it for two seconds so when the timer ends it neither while vibrates no ring but when you will go back it will save that time then we also have the stopwatch application here so you can tap here to start the stopwatch but one thing is quite disappointing that even if it's an android smartwatch you cannot quit while using the stopwatch and as soon as you quit it resets the stopwatch to zero after that here is the reset key so when the stopwatch is running it won't do anything but as soon as you stop the stopwatch you can use it to reset and it doesn't even come with the option to add laps so enough with the health and sport apps let's take a look at all of the applications so first of all here we have the contacts application but one thing which actually disappointed me is that it cannot sync the contacts from your gmail account after that we have the compass application and after every restart it also gives you the option to calibrate the compass after that we have the sound recorder option here and you can tap anywhere to start the recording and when the recording ends it has the option to save the recording here or you can tap on the delete icon to simply delete it after that it will be stored here so you can either tap on it to play it or you can swipe from right to 
tool F to delete it. We also get the gallery option here. So it does not have camera, but you can download photos and videos in it. For example, here are some pictures already available in the smartwatch, and you can also double tap to zoom in on it. And the picture clarity after zooming is too good. You can tap here to see the details or delete the picture. And if you scroll down, we have the dial market option here. After that, we also have file manager here. And just like every other Android device, you can take a look at all of the files available in your device. For example, here are the pictures folder. We have DCIM folder. And just like that, here we have the downloads folder. And you can check all of the folders right here. Here we have the music application. So in local, we have the songs already downloaded in the smartphone. So these are Chinese songs, but let's play this one. So you can tap here to directly connect it with Bluetooth headphones and also to set it on single repeat or repeat play, sequential play or shuffle play. You can also add alarms directly in the smartwatch. So let's go ahead and set an alarm. So the alarm has been added and here is how the alarm is shown. It only rings, it does not vibrate. You can stop the alarm from here and if you want to turn on the snooze option, you can find it in the alarm edit option. But one thing is quite disappointing to see that it didn't vibrate on the alarm. Here we have the calculator option and the basic functions like multiple multiplication, division, subtraction and addition work absolutely fine but if you want to use the percentage function you should follow IMAT. So for example if you want to find 20% of 165 you're simply gonna do multiply 20% and it will show 33 but what would you do if you want to use it for addition because simply if you would do 55 plus 10 percent which should be 60.5 it would show you 55.1 so to add 10 percent of 55 what you're gonna do is do 55 plus 55 multiply 10 percent and then tap on equal to and it will show you the correct answer make sure to thank me in the comment section below we also get the calendar application here and it can also not sync with google calendar but you can use the swipe gesture to move to the next or the previous month then we have message management option so you can check the notifications from these applications and for the other applications you can tap on the other tab then we get the altitude barometer option here it can only work when you have connected the smartwatch with the smartphone using bluetooth we also have cleaning acceleration here so you can tap on the clean button to clean all of the junk data in the smartwatch and in the end we have the whistle option here using which the smartwatch will start to play this tune so anyone around you can know that you are in an emergency situation and you can also swipe here to call the emergency contacts you can save the number of police, fire alarm, ambulance or the emergency contact. So using Wi-Fi and Android, you can take advantage and use many applications. For example, we get the browser application using which you can use any search engine. For example, you can use Google directly on it and search for anything. Then we also get the Play Store inside it. And here you can install any application compatible with Android 9.1. I've installed many applications on it. So here we have YouTube. So you can use it just like every other Android device. For example, I'm gonna search for the best channel about these smartwatches I met so you can see that it is looking just like every other Android device so I'm gonna go to videos and I'm gonna play this video and here's how the video will be shown and just like every other device you can swipe up to move it to full screen so what do you think about it it's looking quite cool after that you can also install Spotify on it then I've also installed some more applications like Facebook Instagram and it's the food delivery application in Pakistan food panda after that we also have app store in the smartwatch so here you can install some applications directly on it for example here we have rear calculator then we have flashlight we have the stopwatch you can also install whatsapp messenger directly here we have a few games here and then here we have tiktok and obviously you can install all of these applications from play store also and these were all of the applications in the dt ultra 2 in the end the smartwatch is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 880 million pair hours so you can either charge it using the magnetic wireless charger provided inside the box and not just that it also supports qi protocol wireless charging and you can use any wireless charger to charge it but if i talk about my experience with the battery it was not so good for example let's go to settings and go to currency or general i don't know why it is titled as currency so if you go to battery here then as you can see that it is showing last full charge was 6 hours ago and the screen usage since last full charge is 1 hour and 22 minutes which equals around 80 minutes. So in 80 minutes of screen time it has lost 80% of the battery and the smartphone is down to its last 20%. But it is because it comes with the only 800 million pair hours of battery inside it in which it is using Wi-Fi location services and it is also being used by the smartphone as a Bluetooth smartphone to push notifications and Bluetooth calls. So looks like for the dual 
medical system the 800 million pair hours of battery capacity is not enough so they either need to optimize the software to use lesser battery or make the battery bigger in the next model so guys this was all from today's video and from the dt ultra 2 what did you think about it honestly talking about the features i really like the smartwatch it has very smart features you can use it as an android watch or as a bluetooth smartwatch however you like you can install many applications inside it it is based on android 9 then while using it as an android device you can continue to receive bluetooth calls and bluetooth messages and push notifications directly on it the battery timing was a huge disappointment if they can increase the battery life in the upcoming model or using software updates if they can optimize the software to use lesser battery then it surely feels like the best apple watch ultra 2 replica in my opinion and not just the best replica it's overall a great smartwatch also so if you would like to place an order i'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below and i would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch if this video helps you out make sure to hit the thumbs up button to see more videos like this make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications i'll catch you in the next one until next time this is imat peace